Welcome to Behind the Mitten, John Shelton from Zunders. And you have the Zunders Snowfest happening January 24th through the 28th, right? Yes, we do. Thank you for having me on. Nice to see you guys. So good to see you too. Actually, Gonzo, we were just we were actually talking about fried chicken um in St. Helen. They have a yes. great fried chicken there. Everyone in Michigan must know that. Zenders is known for their delicious fried chicken, which is when we first met you, John. But this is an event that you guys have been putting on for a while as a new way to embrace winter in beautiful Frankenmuth. Yeah, you know, we 32 years ago, we were approached by a local artist and a school teacher, art teacher out of Saginaw, Pete Rumsey, with an idea of this concept of having a ice, basically a snow carving competition in uh, Frankenmuth. And, um, well, we really didn't know what he was talking about. We took his chance with him, and uh, we were the one of the major investors in this program. And we were hoping to have, you know, in the wintertime, we never really had uh, much going on. The mindset was always to try to expend, uh, cut expenses and wait till the springtime comes before we can start having tourists again. And we were hoping if we had maybe 5,000 people over the weekend, we would be happy. At first year, we had nine ice carvings and I think like eight snow blocks. It took us two weeks to set it up. And we had about 90,000 people show up. We were so understaffed. We had no clue. It was crazy, but it worked. And so we knew we had something going on. And so after that first year, we just started thinking about like, well, how do we really kind of grow this? And how do we start entertaining the people? And at, at the time, my, my middle son was maybe three. I can remember walking around. We were so excited to see all these people. We kept complaining that it was cold. And I knew I probably wasn't the only parent going through this. And it just kind of hit me. If I could entertain kids, I'm going to make parents happy. So we started. That's why we started having the petting zoo, magic shows. We created a warming tent. And it just, you know, pun intended, it just snowballed from there. And uh, after the first year, like I said, we had like eight snow blocks, nine ice carvings. This year, we'll have 120 ice carvings and about 65 snow blocks. Wow. I had no idea it had gotten that large. That's that's incredible. Now, when you say snow blocks, you mean like essentially snow sculptures, right? Correct. We can we 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 create a cube, and that's what they start. Some of them are eight by eight by ten. Some are ten by ten by ten, and then we put two of the ten by ten by tens together, and that's our double block competition. We have a team from France coming this year. We have a team from Mexico, but we've had teams from all over the world participating in this: Italy, Germany, England, China. Uh, so it's uh, that was our international division. Now we just kind of classify it as our world competi world class competition. It's a single block and a double block. But yes, those are all the snow blocks. And then we started, I don't know, maybe probably after the fifth or sixth year, we decided, hey, well, let's have a, a state competition. So we have uh, competitors all over the state of Michigan. The only criteria is you have to be a resident of Michigan to be in the state competition. We have 23 person teams in that event. And that's right across the street in the Bavarian Inn parking lot from us. And then we have a high school division. We created probably about 15 years ago. We have uh, 19 high schools in the area uh, participating. The reason we started with the high school, to be honest, it was kind of like our feeder system. Uh, as we thought if we can get young kids involved in this type of art form and medium that they would, and, it, and it's happened, we've seen it that they have competed in the high school division, then they compete in the state division, and then they state competed in the world division. So we had, there's a gentleman, which I didn't know, a, a local artist, Steve Hargash. He started when he was 17 years old. This is his, I think he told me this is his 29th Snowfest. Oh my gosh. So that concept really works for us. But then we just started adding the entertainment. We do fireworks. Then Plenty of food, obviously, in Frankenmuth, chicken available. and uh, But we have bands Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all day long. And so it just kind of turned out to be, uh, you know, it really started out to be a business opportunity for Zenders. And we're very proud of the fact that it's turned out to be a community-wide event. And uh, everybody's always been very supportive of us, of this event. And we have about, we anticipate about 100 to 125,000 people over the weekend. <laughs> I, I love this story this is this is pure michigan through and through and it's funny john do you know because uh, around the state of michigan there are other ice competitions right i believe holland yes. has a pretty active one grand rapids which we'll be talking to randy finch here in a few minutes about the grand rapids world of winter coming up but i think plymouth has Plymouth one. was that you know when we first started this john plymouth was the standard and but they did all ice OK, and so I remember visiting Plymouth probably after our third year because we started thinking about 
having ice as well. And we kind of got connected with NICA. And we for years, we hosted the uh, National uh, Collegiate Ice Carving Championship. So it's basically like Henry Ford, Macomb Community College. Uh, we had uh, Rhode Island. And uh, basically, there were colleges that had a culinary program, and they taught ice carving. We had the University of Akron. And, you know, a lot, unfortunately, post-COVID, a lot of those programs no longer exist. So what we've done, and we have it again this year, we've kind of just called it our ice carving challenge. And basically anybody that competed as in a Nike event as a collegiate student uh, now participate in what we call our alumni event uh, for that ice competition. But we'll do a, a hundred block ice carving. There's a guy, Greg Butowski out of the Cleveland area. He's kind of a world certified ice carver. He brings a team in. And we create this very huge interactive piece. So going back, if Plymouth was the standard, but we were the first one in this area to combine snow and ice together. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I love watching them carve the ice. I mean, it's entertainment of itself just to watch the process and the technique. And plus it's chainsaws. <laughs> so yeah, you know, pe people like to hear the, the buzz noise of it, but you know, the, 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 the biggest challenge we have, you know, the last few years is, for us, we've been making our own snow. Last year was the first year in the history of Snowfest. I think I'm the only one in Michigan that bought snow. We had to have it trucked in from Gaylord because we, we need cold temperatures and it never got cold enough for us. And so we had to kind of modify the event. Oh where we my had to, gosh. Yeah, yeah, but I, I literally bought snow. <laughs> Gaylord came through, man. Like once again, we're gonna salute our friends hey, in Gaylord. You have to do whatever it takes. The show goes on. Oh, that's that's great. We can't wait to tell our friends again on that story. That We're gonna good. love that one. Hey John, if it's uh maybe my first time coming to Snowfest or maybe my first time coming to Frankenmuth, what 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 should we definitely not miss during this event? Well, I mean, obviously the fireworks is always the kind of the showstopper on Saturday night. That's gonna be the largest audience uh Saturday. Uh come early on Saturday because by the time around 10 30 in the morning, the parking lots are full. We do have shuttle from Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, and then we also have shuttle throughout town trying to get people move people around. Uh, I would say if not Saturday, then Sunday afternoon, because all the carvings are done. And really you kind of get to see how and they'll put a model down and then you kind of see how all the completion of everything. So we kind of tell people, you know, anytime over the weekend, but every day I can tell you, you know, we kick off on Wednesday with our all things chocolate baking contest. Michigan Sugar has been a big, big, big part of that sponsorship. And from Wednesday, it just kind of seems this kind of uh, increase in people by Friday afternoon. It's pretty gets pretty packed. And I'll stay there right, until right. Sunday afternoon to the conclu conclusion. I love it. Well, John, if people want to plan their visit to uh, Zender's Snow Fest, which is, again is happening January 24th to the 28th, where can they go for all the information? Well, you go to just the easiest way to go to our website, zenders.com, click on the Snow Fest link, and it gives you a complete listing of all the scheduled events each day uh, that's available. Or you can call our 800 number, 800 863 7999. You'll get one of our great uh, call center. Uh, employees and they'll kind of give you the information but the easiest way is to go online i love it and plan ahead again like we've been saying all day right gonzo plan Thanks. ahead so you're not left out because it's going to be a great time in frankenmuth john shelton from zenders thanks so much for joining us on behind the mitten thanks for having me on good to see you guys happy new year to you happy new year all right more from behind the mitten coming up next